grasp that, church? That we should love him and make him our master and we his servants because we see what he did for us on the cross of Calvary. What we've been delivered from and what we've been delivered to. If he can do that for us, do you think that under his will, he's going to bring us into harm and disaster? Absolutely not. He loves us with an eternal love. And so we can humbly submit ourselves to him knowing that he's got our perfect life in control under his perfect will. And then we can rejoice. No matter what happens, we can rejoice because he's got us. Amen? Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, God's mercy is sending his son and saving us. Ready? Offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper act of worship. Living sacrifice. No matter what we go through, if it brings him glory and honor, we rejoice. We rejoice. Amen? We have to die to ourselves. We have to take all those desires that we have and say, they cannot come before the Father's will. He's saying, all God's people, we are all to come under and be servants of the Most High God. Because every one of us has a gift and talents we can use as unto the Lord. Everyone have a boca, a mouth, la bouche in French? Then you can speak the gospel to somebody. We've been sanctified. The term sanctified means to be set apart to God. That's what it means, set apart to God. Very simply, by being in Christ, we're separated from the world and we're set apart to God. The things of this world should not be our draw. Are you in the Lord? Are you serving Him? Are you willing to become a doulos, a bond servant for Christ, and submit your will to His, your life to His? Because in that, you will find the greatest joy.